In the last episode, our gang faced up to their most intense fight so far. A war between Stenwick and Penelope against a roided out King Dupont, while Ironhammer and Felix were busy trying to take care of Dupont's wife, an android figure named Irene. Even though our cleric took a massive amount of damage, him and Felix were able to finish off Irene as she blasted herself standing above her foes. However, right before singing her final song, she summoned a gray slag being. Spawning from the earth was a creature far greater in height than the original slags, in addition to its wings, which it uses to take off towards the northwest. Inside the castle, our dwarves were able to come face to face with Clifford after being kicked down the staircase by Penelope. Fighting the king's faithful leaders with a wall of fire, our team came together to finish the king. After two broken arms, a blind eye, and a bath of blood in the king's marble floors, Dupont finally took his last seat amongst his throne. Sending Mickelson over to Dupont's daughter to return immediately, the S squad will be getting Dupont set up amongst a court, whilst Ironhammer works on getting into the previous king's bedroom. Welcome back to Retrograde, a D&D campaign by Fudge Roll. I'm your judge, Derek Day. And with me is the plaintiff, Andrew Akers. Hello, I'm Hummel. The defendant, Ty Sheets. What's up, what's up? Ty Sheets here, making that cream multicast. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism for masturbating. Making that cream. <laughs> I'm all about it. Uh, uh, our lawyer, uh, Ian Jones. Oh, I'm Ian. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. And our lovely bailiff, Jesse Wagner. Get out of line, I'll crack your fucking skull. Yo, oh, that's what we like to hear. So, we are going to start off a little bit ahead of time. We'll start with DuPont already on a, a sort of stage in the town square. Oh, I wanted to talk to the guards first. Because I know they were being held back by that wall of fire, right? Uh, yeah, Iron Hammer took that down. Uh, oh, but did he? It, yeah, you, you can still talk to them. Uh, I know he still has to deal with the bedroom. But in general, I, uh, most people are waiting with Addison and Mickelson, and then you guys can join in later. Okay. Um, while we're still inside, I'm going to wrap uh, like a cloth or bandage around my destroyed eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want us to skip ahead, we can. But I didn't know if I would be able to talk to the guards who just killed all the other guards. If you'd like to, that's fine. Uh, the way I'm going to leave it is you and uh, you, you stand with specifically and any of your, uh, anybody else you want to group in will be in charge of uh, sentencing DuPont. What, what do, immediately after we disarm him and get him into his chair, how are the other guards reacting to this? The ones that were still fighting for him? Yeah, because they were, they were, they won from what I remember. They pretty much struck down someone else. So are they throwing their weapons down or are they going to try to back? If you could roll me a uh, perception. I'm still logging in. I rolled a natural 16. That's fine. I'll say you can tell uh, they they all dropped their weapons. However, there were definitely some that were a lot more hesitant to. I can imagine all this is very confusing for all of you. And for that, I'm sorry. If we could have done this in a cleaner way, we would have. Gods know we tried. I just want you to take a moment, look down, look around you. you. are your brothers and sisters who took the same oath as you, who believed that they were doing the right thing, same as all of you. You've been lied to by this man. And if he had his way, there would be many, many more dead on the ground. Let us say our peace. If you have other perspective, we'll allow you to say yours. But moving forward, we want this to be as peaceful as possible. Please. No more need for any more bloodshed. 
you can see uh, a, a large majority of them raging in over <laughs> there, looking around, and some of them can spot uh, Peter's blood running into the kitchen as they as they relax. What what of us? Those who have fallen have been the same as all of you. They deserve better than to be laying here. While we prepare what we need to, we need to on our end, gather up those who have fallen, give them proper final rites. They will agree to do that. In the meantime, we're going to allow you to hold on to your weapons, but let me first ask, in this moment, does anyone feel the need for retribution? Does anyone want to continue fighting? Or are you willing to hear us out? Good question. If you can roll me, let's go with insight. Uh, 23. I'll say there are still two or three younger boys in the back that are not really paying attention. You can tell they're, they've been looking around. You, you feel as though they, they are not completely done yet, whether it comes now or later. Gentlemen, I can tell on the looks of some of your faces that maybe you feel like what just happened here was a coup. And maybe to a degree it was. There was a right way and a wrong way of going about this. Many of this is uncharted territory. But I promise you, one way or another, you're going to get answers. The same as the rest of us, but we need to learn what's actually happening first. And this man has been lying to us. And everything he's been lying about is going to come to light very, very soon. And if you're angry, hold on to that anger. Just make sure you're directing it at the right person. And look at the pond. Those who are guilty will face what's coming to them. Now leave us. We have much to do. The boys will look at you, and they will take everything in. They will start collecting the bodies and start dispersing them. I look over at uh, Felix. Hey, do you... And Penelope, I guess they're both there. Mm. Yep. Do you two mind keeping an eye on this guy? Um, uh, I'm going to see if I can find parts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's okay. not a problem. Well, While I'm gone, feel free to ask him whatever you need to. Um, just relay on to me whatever he says. I'll be right back. I'm going to start walking toward the kitchen. Entering inside, you can see the spills of blood from parts uh, from Mickelson carrying him in. He is on the main cupboard inside. It looks as if he was split open from the, from the stomach. Uh, Mickelson had nothing he was able to do to repair it. Are his eyes open? Yes. I'm gonna try to close them. I'm gonna pick them up, carry them out of the kitchen, and follow where everyone else is taking the other bodies. They will take all of the bodies up north, near where the previous king's body had been laid to rest. Do we do all of that now? It's a longer trip, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, and this this will this will fall in part. I will have the rest of the guys can, as well as other soldiers, can help deliver Dupont to the court as they start to clean up a bit. As you guys yeah. take care of the bodies. Yeah, as long as Dupont stays in custody of the and I am gets back, I'm gonna go off and do my other thing with uh, with burying. The body. Yep, that'll be fine. Uh, Dupont is not struggling anymore. He realizes he is he's finished. 
if I get the chance to, if I see Iron Hammer before I want to to be Addison's point person whenever she arrives with Nicholson, because if I recall correctly, they had kind of a decent relationship. He mm -hmm. Yep, at the jewelry store and everything. Yeah, and just to keep her safe, she might be a target in all of this. She might I mean, be understandably upset as to what's happening, but maybe there's some stuff that she knows as well that Iron Hammer couldn't learn about. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any questions you guys had for DuPont? Anything you needed before the hearing comes out? I mean, not really. I mean... He's not gonna answer most things anyway, so. Yeah. Did um did Dupont like ever say what his end game was? Um, because if he hasn't, then I want to ask him pretty much what 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 did he think was going to happen um, with eliminating all the asteroids? Like, what was what was his uh, reasoning for everything? His main goal that you have been able to find out so far was to take. Muldoon over for the kingdom of Davenport. But that, that's what you got from the war room. But that, that's all you have gotten so far, though. Do you want to do anything specific with the with the barrels? Yes, yeah, there's uh, if there's a nice tree or a, a part up there that has a nicer look over that of the surrounding area than other areas i want to put part's body there um amongst the kings in the map i'll say there is a nice tree sitting right there that he can look off into the sea and uh, i'm gonna make sure he's buried with his grandfather's journal okay i'm sorry that you had to share the same fate as him you deserve more you were one of the bravest of us. The bravest of us. Many have died before you, but I hope that you'll be the last. He will continue staring off into the sea as you can stand up and depart away as the remaining soldiers have begun burying and also saying their final words. And I, I make sure to make it a point to be burying both guards on both sides of this conflict together. Mm -hmm. Like no, no distinction between what side they fell on during the fight. And you, you can tell with the rest of the soldiers, they are tearing up uh, like crazy. You, you, you can tell they are apologetic for what has happened so we're, we're where are we taking dupont for this uh uh if you have on the map uh, i just have a small court that he is uh standing above everyone okay um but there's like an established place already in uh New Haven, for, like there is a court system and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That there would be. Yeah. Because I didn't know if there was anything like that in place, if anything like that existed. I figured there'd be some kind of, some kind of court, some kind of judgment. Uh, this I just threw in the town square. What do I know about the <clears throat> courts here? Because I imagine Dupont probably had the final say in a lot of this stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Can I gauge the loyalty of the higher ups in this system to see if they are if this back to pass or how the system works exactly? Do the people actually say, or is it just like people of Dupont's friends? Yeah, a majority of them were Dupont's friends. However, now that there is some sort of session going on with him, uh, his friends are no longer in charge of what's happening. Does he have someone leading his defense or someone who is arguing on his behalf or is he representing himself? By himself. And is it like a, are we making our case to like a jury of people or? 
like a panel of elders. Who are we trying to convince of his guilt? See, my thought was I had a bunch of citizens. Uh, my idea was that it was kind of uh, see what they decided on a after everything was done. I don't think Dupont himself would have selected a random group or anything. Yeah. All right. As long as it's the common people that are the ones who have the final say, that's that's my big. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly who is who is following everybody from the from the raid from Irene. As, and as of which they saw somebody get hit by her, so yeah. they're a little more turned towards and you guys. This, is this kind of process commonplace where they typically decide, or were you were saying that there's usually like like elite judges or like a council that decides? Uh, the no, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not doing a council. Typically, it would just be Dupont. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is just you know, him against the citizens. Okay. This is a this is a brand new concept to these people. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Would would Iron Hammer have been able to glean anything from Addison? Uh he would he would be able to tell that she was never a big fan of her father. Uh it was mainly just a uh, her dad's the king, so she just has to do whatever he says, but she was never into him. Uh, she never really accepted what happened with, with her mom. Would you have any idea what his pride and joy was that he was talking about before? Uh, yeah, his balls. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lost that because of the Astrals? Is that what happened? Yes, yeah, what happened, uh, they, they fought in one of the wars against New Haven. Uh, Irene was killed from the Astrals, and then he was shot in both of his balls. Yes. Which, okay. uh, which is another reason Addison is not a fan, uh, because he kind of neglected her. No, yeah. he, he was never going to have a son, so he just kind of threw her away. Penelope, I think while we're here, if you wouldn't mind just keeping an eye on the crowd, make sure no one's getting too squirrely as we're presenting everything. I imagine a lot of this is very new to many of these people. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll keep guard and make sure that the uh, the order is uh, staying intact. And I want to pull Felix aside. Hey, um, yeah. How how are you doing, spell wise? I know we just had that <laughs> huge fight back there, but how how are you doing if you know shit breaks out here? Um. Well, have I'm Mr. Happy. DM. Have we had any kind of rest at all? Short rest, anything? No, it's only been uh, an hour and a half since everything started. All right. And we're how, still, you know. how close are those guys to me when they're when they're saying that? Uh, you guys would all be right next to each other, besides uh, Iron Hammer. Yeah, I kind of want to pull them aside to have this conversation as well. Because I can say to Felix. Um, if you need uh, a little bit of help, I have uh, this uh, potion of mana. If uh, you need a little bit of a pick me up, and it restores uh, one seventh level spell spell slot or lower. Well, in all honesty, I'm I'm sitting pretty decent on spells because I used polymorph for most of the battle, so I should be good. But it's Denwick. If you need some. I'm, <laughs> I kind of gesture like vaguely to my fucked up face. Um, I'm hurting, but I can I can fix that by the way if you really want it. Yeah, I heard you. I remember you mentioned that uh, when we were back in the building. I, I kind of, I don't know, man. Maybe we can talk a little bit more about um, it later. But uh, oh, I was just gonna say I'm gonna cast greater restoration. And then can I go back? I mean, it's restoring your eye. <laughs> That's pretty great. I'm That's gonna stop. Great. That. Hey, you you hold on to your spells for now, and I don't know. I already casted it. Isn't it? No. Oh, <laughs> no. You you got you guys will definitely get a rest after this. I'll say. I've spent a lot of my life looking at my past, and I feel like I don't know. 
kind of missing an eye is uh, symbolic. It's a reminder. Kind of look forward to the future a little bit more. I mean, that's just fucking stupid. Anyway, we have bigger things going on. <laughs> if you want to walk around with one eye. The um, astral technology. The belts and the bombs and stuff. Yes, those should be Boom. inside uh, Felix's pack. They are inside of me. Yeah, at least a couple well, of them. Felix, do you mind giving the vest to Penelope while we're here? Just because he's going to be looking around and uh, keeping an eye on things. So it might be good to use it if he needs to go quiet for a minute. All right, I'm going to hand Penelope the invisibility vest. I'm going to go ahead and, and put it on. How does the invisibility vest work? Um, do I just have to, is there something I have to do to activate it, or? I think you have to press a button. Yeah, 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 yeah there's a button. Uh, and it lasts until you attack or cast a spell. The people here have zero to none, uh, little to none experience when it comes to both magic and technology. I think over the course of us offering our side of things, maybe if we give them a show, like a, an idea of the things they've been missing out on, maybe it could be the additional thing to help win them over. Just a thought. That's when I'll fix your eye. And what did you say? <laughs> yeah, in front of the whole... And I can't believe I'm asking this, but... Uh, uh, Felix, do you want to... Help me lead the case against DuPont. All day, every day. I've never wanted anything more in my life. <laughs> I figured you would say that. All right. And uh, Iron Hammer, while we're doing our stuff, if there's any help that your god can help with, uh, you know, we're... No thanks. <laughs> I was going to say, why did you uh, air quote your god? I uh, I still have not quite seen him. I didn't see him interact with Mord in last game. That was just you. Mm -hmm. uh oh. <laughs> yeah, one last note. I forgot the uh, Hexblade was still out there. I'll just say Ian grabbed it. Yeah, okay. he did say he wanted that. But uh, yeah, when, and whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and get started. I, uh, I, I'm not a court-type person, so I'm going to follow what you, what you go, and I'll try to follow along with DuPont. <laughs> Jesse and I got this. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, I, I figure I can do our opening argument, and then he can do his opening, and then I'll give the floor open to you if you want to move forward. There. I'm going to run to uh, the nearest tailor, and I would like to get a white suit made. <laughs> Welcome to Pell's Pelts. What can I... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my guy. Hello, Felix. Uh, how may I help you? I, I'm in need of... I'm in desperate need of two things. Well, three things if you can manage it. Uh, let's see. I need a white suit. Got it. A large white cowboy hat. Uh, obviously. And black boots. Perfect. Preferably of some snake or lizard. And the faster you make it, the the better I'll pay you. Uh, see, it's funny you mention that. We have all three ready uh, right now. Uh, funny thing about the boots, they are made of uh, desert lizard. I hear you can ride those things. You can. And they're done that. Uh, you you can have them all right now. Going to be a little pricey. It's going to be close to about three fifty. At three fifty. All right. So three gold and fifty silver. Uh, 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 no, no. There you go. And I'm gonna drop it on the counter, scoop up the things, and run out the door. <laughs> he slams the table. God damn it! He did it again. <laughs> he will. He will most likely be after you. Okay. But you can. I'll take care of that later. You can grab all the clothes and put it on as you run next to Stenwood. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna be getting dressed as we walk down the road. Kind of like doing that one leg hop as you try to put your shoe on. <laughs> All right, Stenwick, I think we're ready. As I jauntily adjust my cap. So once I see that everyone is 
kind of around. Did did Pell follow him out, or is he just like working the store in the middle of? He's he's standing inside the store, just staring outside the window, staring <laughs> staring at Felix, not at anybody else. As soon as I see Felix approach, I'm just like I. I'm not regretting this at all. <laughs> I'm very excited for what is going to happen. All right, so yeah, once I see that everyone is together, I'm going to kind of position myself off to the side here. Mm -hmm. Kind of facing the people, but also keeping DuPont kind of still in my field of vision. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen of New Haven, we are here today because of this man, your previous king a liar a traitor and a murderer myself and my companion here over the course of this next hour or so are going to prove to you that this man this tyrant is responsible not only for the murder of several people in this town without due process as well as war crimes targeted against people north of here and the, gen the attempted genocide of an entire group of people, entire group known as the Astros. This man has been I'm lying to... Tap, tap uh, um, Stanwick on the shoulder and whisper in his ear, don't forget the, uh, the tyrant. I open with that. They were they were citizens of this town. He, he had them killed. Oh, okay. Felix, Felix, I I lost my train of thought. Pick it up. Um. Well, now you keep it in oh, your own time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what we have before you? Oh Jesus! Is a failure to communicate. <laughs> 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 this man here has lied and cheated and stolen from this hard people not to mention tried to use his power as king to kill unwanted amongst the people I hope that me and my partner here can uh, persuade you and help you see the light I now turn it over to this lion cheating bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna tip my cowboy ass. Tyrant. We've dealt with those already. Who are these people? They came to serve me. We're here to protect our home from the astrals. Who's to say they are any better than what I can do. I'm your boy, your king, DuPont. Listen One to me. What, what do they have to prove? I'm going to stand first. We're going to try to take these accusations one at a time as to not get caught up in the weeds on too many things. First and foremost, and possibly the most important of the accusations levied against this man is the unwarranted murder of several of your friends, your family, a group that was ultimately dubbed the Tyrants. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but the only tyrant that I see before me today is this man right here. Growing up, I knew several of these individuals, individuals personally. They were good people. Many of you maybe even knew them. Under DuPont's orders, several of the guards, after the group that I'm here with today, did not slaughter them in their home. And the group of guards came and finished the job, killed them dead in the bottom of a well where they were forced to run to. There was no trial. There was no opportunity for them to prove their innocence. This man, this one man, determined their fate as judge, jury, and put other people as his executioners. So, DuPont, what say you in your defense? I don't consider them citizens. They were no better than any pet we could have had. Objection, Your Honor. Do you want to know what actually happened to them? 
Felix. Ask ESA. I'm sure your friend around here knows a little bit more about the uh, green potion, wherever he could be. The tyrants were not citizens at all. We brought them up and use the green potion in order to create our own special soldiers, I guess you could say. That's all they were for us. Now, of course, it all failed. But it was just an experiment. So you're admitting to... I'm, I'm dropping this stupid fucking accent. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> you're admitting to taking members of this town, creating, doing science experiments on them, and then basically casting them aside like they're just yesterday's dog shit. That's what we're here for, isn't it? To, that, that doesn't sound at all. To take over... The, to, to be as good as we can. Uh, what hey, was that you were going to say? To take over what exactly? The... Uh, we're here. Uh, that, that, that. The continent. We're here to take over. We I we have proven this. The the and, the tyrants were meant to allow us to continue moving forward. However, they failed, and we left them behind. And why would you want to take over the continent, Mister Bunt? Well, obviously, there's. And one of the people you not, ran into. There's not really anything else around here, so why not? Why not? Exactly. No matter the people that you trample down to get there, why not? It's not a it's not a land of empty areas beyond this town. There are people with homes and families. Why not? You should be ashamed of yourself. Why not? Let me ask you this. What was the selection process like for these experimental soldiers? Why them? Did they volunteer for this? I knew many of them personally. They never mentioned such a thing. They never knew. They still don't know. We raised them well, from now. Not much of an opportunity to know anything. We raised them from groups of fosters. So you were abducted orphans? What kind of sick, twisted fuck are you? What it sounds like to me. Uh, wh what else are we here for? We're not here just for New Haven. We're here to take everything the, else. The, and who is this we if you speak of? Do you, do you have a fucking mouse in your pocket, or...? Me, myself, and I, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're, so, we're gonna so. get to where you think you have- where your allegiances may lie outside of this place, because there's a couple of ideas we have of where that may be, but before we get there, because I want to make sure I, I get this straight, and I'm looking over at the, the people of the town uh, now. You mean to tell me that you abducted children who were orphaned, left behind, people who no one would have noticed went missing? In reality, it could have been any single one of us for for our children. That's what happens when you've got a mission. Everybody's lives here are for the mission. And of individual choice? Does that not exist in this world? Of yours, the one that all this is for? Of, of course it matters, but, uh, the kingdom is what rules over anything else. Mm -hmm. Of course it matters. Tell that to Bugsy. Tell who? that to Petal. Who? Tell that to all of the people who died by your hand. It doesn't matter. Maybe you've convinced yourself that it did somewhere along the way to reconcile with the terrible things you were doing, but you don't care. 
Not really, not truly. If you did, you wouldn't be lying to all of us. I grew up thinking that this town was no more than a couple generations old. And over the course of my journey north, I learned it's much, much older than that, isn't it? In a way, in, in, the, a way. in, in this land, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit older. We know nothing of this kingdom's history, <clears throat> of what it truly stands for. We know nothing of our leader. I'm sure none of you realized any of the arcane artifacts that our king here was keeping stashed away in his castle for himself. Meanwhile, the rest of us were not allowed to talk about it, to think about it, to practice it, to learn. You wanted it all for you. He hesitates for a moment. The, the what items? I'm going to look over at Iron Hammer. <laughs> I'm assuming he produced, was able to produce something from his room. Uh, yeah, he will pull out one of the rings that he was able to grab from one of the chests and present it ahead. Uh, you can see DuPont cough a little bit. And I'm pretty new to the arcane, but if I'm not mistaken, one of the most taboo things a person can do when it comes to the arcane arts is have the undead live among them. Now, many of you saw the ghost, the shade, the revenant of Irene DuPont, the former wife of this man. You can see multiple citizens nodding, looking around. I understand, Clifford, what it's like to lose people, to do anything you can to bring them back. You took people who I cared about away from me. I get it. It hurts. But what you did, and to keep it a secret, I just... Why? There's a lot more going on. I was going to say, he's going he's gonna to take a look up at the clock and see there's, we'll say... 20 to 30 minutes until the next hour. Uh, he'll look down uh, and only only you and Felix can hear uh, him say, uh, doesn't look like there's uh, much time left anyway. Time for what? I guess we'll see. New Haven. It was originally... A group made from the creators of Davenport. Davenport <laughs> is a kingdom amongst the continent of Don Salak. Does that mean anything to us? Never heard of it. So a place we never heard of from a continent we never heard of. Just a testament to the amazing work that the educational system here in New Haven has done for us. Do you care to elaborate? New Haven was originally planned to be a new kingdom amongst one of the original leaders of Davenport. The original king of Davenport, this was instead his younger brother named Ulrich. He was the first king of New Haven, designed to be his own kingdom away from the group of his younger brother. There have been eight kings since the beginning of New Haven. And what does this have to do with wanting to end the lives of the Astros? And what of that beast you sent off? Ulrich noticed the large amounts of the astrals among Muldoon. His goal was to own his own continent, just like his brother. However, we've been stuck here in New Haven by itself. 
As for the additional creature, <laughs> yeah, might want to hurry up back to that one. I should have done this already. Penelope, what what was the potion you had mentioned before? Oh, actually, you know what? No, I have two third level spell slots. I'm going to cast Zone of Truth as a third level spell. Okay. Uh, it's a charisma save of 15. 10. 10? Okay. So he either... And his responses has to be truthful, or he can just choose not to answer. Okay. Try to catch me up a little bit. The the purpose of this creature again? The the slad. Yeah. What about it? What's the purpose of it? Where's it headed? It's it's not obvious yet. Primador. You, uh, I'm assume, I'm assuming finish your mission of committing genocide against these people. Of course. Uh, I have uh, I have no idea how much longer I, I am here to, to live, uh, but I have sent out my last, my last objective. You expect it to be able to do that by itself? One beast. Maybe not everything, but uh, at least take out as much as they can. So in essence, you sent this creature out to jumpstart a war because obviously it's not going to get the job done, but now Primador and the people living, the things living there are going to believe that they're under attack by the people here. Exactly. If I don't finish, they need to finish it. So you're willing to risk the lives of everyone in your town. All of these people with families and hopes and dreams Hell and his pelt. The juice stand boy. <laughs> uh, Roger with his stable. <laughs> the other countless members of this town that, of course, I would remember their name. I just, I'm so aghast at the, the, the horrors that I'm hearing that I, I can't recall them. Well, I obviously use the, uh, the foster kids, didn't I? He'll spit off the side as Addison just stares up at him. It's not a great plan. If your goal was to take control over this continent, starting a war with the continent over just doesn't seem like a good use of resources. Especially when you have no navy, you have no... Uh, addition, no access to magic, you have no technology, you have no idea what these creatures are capable of, and you're willing to poke the hornet's nest for what? When he says you you have no idea what these creatures are capable of, uh, I'm going to pull out the uh, plasma shooter and the net gun. He will <laughs> be surprised by that. Uh, he, he wouldn't have known about those. Mm. Great job. You know, we, we could have been collaborating with them all this time. We could have invented orange juice decades ago. I'm gonna look. I hear tales that these creatures have indoor plumbing. Toilets that flush. <laughs> Not just bits and shit. <laughs> you tell me they don't just have a poop hole. They have more than a poop hole. Oh. They have several poop <laughs> they have a poop. They have a poop <laughs> river. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the people again. I feel like there's nothing more you need to hear. We've given you more than I'm sure you can process right now. So I understand if it takes you a while to come to a decision on what to do moving forward, but I feel like there's one of two choices that we can make. Either one, we return to the old way, brace ourselves for a war, return to a life of ignorance and a lack of understanding on how the world works, or we can together step forward into the future. 
we can learn things about the world. We can trade with other people. On my journey, I picked up contracts from other people, from other merchants and vendors. They can teach us about magic and technology and our lives can be better. But the choice is yours. We're just giving you the knowledge to make a decision. So my colleague and I are hoping, praying that you make the right one. The citizens will slowly start to back up a little bit more and more as, as DuPont just keeps going on and on. Uh, and they will, uh, a, a large majority of them, fully agree with Stenwick. As a young boy from behind the court will pick up a rock and throw it straight at DuPont. Does he speak for all of you? Slowly but surely, they all... I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna, like, try to throw my voice to the back of the crowd. Kill him! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, they all, they all start shouting, uh, uh, I, not kill him. <laughs> well, I wanna, I wanna try to start the kill him shit. Oh, lord. Grab his dick and twist it! <laughs> <laughs> The old the dick old <laughs> uh, from this point, I'm going to say there are uh, we are uh, we are under five minutes. Oh shit! Are we talking about Penelope's potion that could possibly just make him explode? Yes. Let me explain. Hey, what? <laughs> Do you not remember that? The potion. That was yeah. during, like right before the battle. He stabbed him right before the fight. Yeah. He had like three hours. We don't know what the outcome is going to be. The only thing we've seen happen, well, and I don't even know about it unless you told me. I don't really, I, 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 I just figured that it had like, it, the effect was nullified or something. I, I'm completely not thinking. About it. Felix, Iron Hammer, Penelope, uh, where, wherever you could be. Uh, I just have uh, one one final thing to say to you, uh, including Top Knot. Uh, who knows where he could be, though? He can't lie. He knows. <laughs> he won't answer that then. Is, did Iron Hammer bring Top Knot back, or he, oh, the next something up <laughs> while the Zone of Truth is up? He sent his snake up yeah. to check out the chest, and there's a button on the wall. But the snake could not reach it. Oh. I'm gonna grab DuPont, who I don't know why I imagine has been in the stockade. Pretty much, yeah. But I'm gonna oh, grab him by the face. I'm gonna grab him by the face, and I'm gonna tell, just look deep into his eyes and say, tell me where he is. He won't respond. Um. I won't tell you that, but I can tell you one more thing. Huh, Felix? Tell me where he is. Say your piece. Our three, uh, friends here. I knew you were all gone for 200 years. That was never a surprise to me. I'm sure none of you remember, but... You all used to be a part of our group. Obviously, Penelope with the potions. But you and you and Iron Hammer were close in the Magic Guard. I know you've had a lot of experience with the astral language. I'm sure you've heard of Goldshire before. That was where <laughs> We originally took you all. <laughs> Felix, could you roll me a wisdom? Of course. Uh, saving throw or a check? Just a check. Okay. 17. Felix, you remember your days back at home again on your favorite chair. 
as you have that similar memory from the first episode. Uh, bean gas. You, yeah, you let off the bean gas as the coffee was <laughs> brewing. As you went to check the back door. What you remember uh, are large tentacles draping you, and then you just passed out. What Dupont explains is those were New Haven soldiers. Soldiers from Davenport, I should say. They entered, similar to the rest of, rest of the group. Took you down. Completely mind-washed you. And then took you to Goldshire. Where you forgot a, a lot of your, your memories, I'm assuming. After finishing at Goldshire, you were then taken here to New Haven. Which reminds me, that's probably similar towards Penelope, wouldn't it? From what I heard, he was in a grass hill with, with his son, Sterling. I guess they must, must have launched something special a day, some kind of trebuchet, as the soldiers landed, taking out the boy's leg, as both of them were taken to Goldshire, similar to Iron Hammer when he was a child. He was just a young boy, but unable to reach his, his mom's dinner before the day could be done. Irene had been watching you all after one of our last astral fights. All four of you had been almost completely demolished. The remaining guards, including Frederick, were able to hold you up in the cave, put you to sleep for about 200 some years. Till Irene found you as Addison was approaching with the tyrants coming straight behind her. This, this wasn't a coincidence. We are at a remaining, I'll say two minutes or so. I'm gonna grip my teeth. Begin, content, begin to apply pressure to either side of his head. And say, where is he? I'm going to look over at Penelope and see how he's reacting to all of this as well. I am kind of fiddling around in my pocket. Um, I'm still pretty calm. I'm not really too concerned about the, uh, the time frame that we have. Uh, I'm just waiting more for DuPont's response. Felix, you can continue pressing on Clifford's face as the blood vessels start to pop from his eyes. He will not respond and will just continue sitting there. Oh, I'm going to cast my produced flame camper and begin to burn his face. Felix, there's a crowd. I'll call it off. I'm gonna look at, um... Stand like and say we're running out of time. Uh, I am... going to cast... as my final, technically a third level spell, although it's a first level spell. Uh, I'm going to cast... Locate Object. And I'm going to look for Top Knots, uh, that weird contraption I've seen him with. You, you can definitely sense him within a thousand feet. Uh, if you need anything more specific, it is heading towards the castle. Uh, well, Derek, pretty much what I have a rune that allows me to see into the future for two minutes. Um, I just wanted to see if DuPont was going to end up actually telling us where Top Knot was. 
then depending upon if he does tell us that I have a course of action I want to go through with then. Uh, no. I would say he would stay quiet the entire time. Uh, obviously, Iron Hammer has a little... Uh, some details about that, but DuPont will say nothing. Uh, for your next two minutes, you can already see what would happen if he just stays there. In my pocket that I've been fiddling around with, I'm going to pull out a syringe and walk up behind Felix um, and reach over and stab DuPont with the uh, syringe. Uh, yeah, he's in a full... Full stockade. So he's not he's not gonna move at all. Okay. Um as I stab him, I wanna say you deserve so much more pain and suffering uh than just letting you go off so easy. And uh in the syringe it's the antidote to the potion uh, that I stabbed him with before. You can actually see in his eyes he looks sad after realizing that you took away the original potion. Your fate isn't for us to decide. And I'm going to turn to the people. Have you made a decision? Kill him! You are not the only people he has wronged. With your permission, alive or dead, we'd like to take him with us, the Primador, as a token of an apology and of good faith to those who are under attack there. Hopefully put an end to this war before it starts. Good. Now I gotta go. I'm gonna start running toward where I located the object. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to look at gonna... Penelope and Felix. You guys just keep an eye on him. I'm going to find your friend. I'm going to say fuck that and follow Stemic. All right. Who would ever like to join can follow up uh, straight into King DuPont's bedroom. I look around the room, see where my locate object is pointing me. Heading inside the bedroom, directly ahead, you see the the uh, the bed at the very end of the wall, along with the fireplace. Uh, to the right is a bathroom, and then to the left is his library. As of now, you would have no idea how to get wherever you need to go. What direction is it? Is it pointing me in any particular direction? Uh... uh the left. I point to the left. Felix, I think he's over there. I point at the wall or the bookcase or whatever's there. Can I see anything? You will, you can enter into the library and what you guys <laughs> see are the various magical items that DuPont had been keeping. Shit. I only have a read on his little thing that he carried around with him. You can see that the sign is pointing Straight north. Okay, I From follow the library. There is no door. Is there a bookcase? There are multiple bookcases. I think he's a, a, a secret entrance or something. I think there's a, a room or a door or something behind that. I'm going to start basically just checking the room for any type of... Uh, any type of button or anything that looks like it would actuate a secret room. Could someone roll me in intellect? I'm gonna give you advantage because I'm helping. Okay. In intellect. 19. After searching through these bookcases as fast as you can, you're finally able to open the final case. When you open it up, there is no door doorway behind. It's just a straight door, uh, a small, a very small wall as you can enter into DuPont's hidden room. Inside are multiple corpses of astrals, as well as a singular blue chest and a 
uh, you can see the button that Iron Hammer Snake had mentioned, had seen before, on the side of the wall. I'm gonna look at Stenwick and look back at the button. I got you. I pull out my sword just in case. So I'm smack, I'm smash the button with my fist. Smashing the button, the entire wall falls away. And you see nothing. No nothing at all. No room or anything. It's just, if you look down, it's just empty. Um, can I tell that's the way Top Knot is? You'd I imagine. I have my locate creature spell, so. Yeah, you'd imagine, but you don't see anything around you. Uh, even with heightened vision, there's no top or bottom. I'm going to grab one of the astrals or a part of one of the astrals and kind of toss it in that direction toward the darkness. See what happens. Throwing it in. Uh, again, you hear nothing. Whatever it is just falls and falls and falls. Do we... I I don't have any energy to cast any more spells, Felix. I, I don't... I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. Waiting there for a minute or two. What you eventually hear is... Uh... As what you see is top knot falling from the very top back into the bottom again. What the fuck? And after another couple Body minutes, the astral. the astral comes right above. <laughs> another couple minutes, top knot falls from the top again, just over and over. He's just looping. He's just yep. looping. Well, shit. That that makes that a lot easier. Do you have anything that can slow him? Seems like he's moving pretty good. I, uh, I could just kind of catch him if I could find this damn spell. How fast does it look like he's falling? If we try to catch him, is it going to be like trying to catch something at terminal velocity? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, th at this speed, it's very fast. He yeah, needs we're... some way to slow him. You, you, could, you could catch him, and his top half would just tear off from the bottom. Yeah. Well, fuck. All right, fine then. I'm going to polymorph into an eagle. A giant eagle. Because he's just a little fella, right? He's just a halfling. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to trans polymorph into a giant eagle, and I'm going to, like, ca -ca! like dive into the uh, the abyss. No, it's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you waiting for him to spawn again from the top, or just diving down, trying to catch... I'm I'm waiting until like I can see him so I can try to catch him. I will allow that. If you could roll me Yeah, I'm gonna go acrobatics with Dex. Ten. Top knot eventually notices both you and Stenwick uh looking from the side of the door as there is now light inside the room. Uh, he realizes it's you, but unfortunately, you can grab the top of his shirt, uh, but it, it falls off. Um, He's lost so much, so much weight, it does not catch him. So I, I, can I continue to try to, like, catch his speed? I'm not so much trying to catch him, I'm, like, trying to catch up with him. I'm trying to match his speed. Yeah. I will allow that. Um, it's like that scene from Interstellar where they're trying to match up the rotation. Jesse, can you roll me a... just a general constitution? 18. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, I will allow that. Um, the astral head falls and almost hits you uh, in, in the side of the head, which would have caused you and top not to bag against the walls but you're able to dodge it from above 
if you would like to attempt another another chance. I'd like to try to again try to catch Tottenham. Mm. Seventeen. You are now at the very top of the ceiling again as you have caught top knot along his uh his torso all right once i catch him i'm gonna try to abruptly fly in the opposite direction that i've been falling you can do that you'll have to roll me another constitution though five the astral head hits you straight in the face as both Top Knot and you will take 45 points of damage. 45 points of damage. Trying to consider the speed, yeah. Oh. Fuck. Well, I just dropped Polymorph Sheep. Fuck, now you're both falling. Now you're both can falling, I, yeah. Can I be still holding Top Knot? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll allow that. With your feet. <laughs> I cast polymorph again. The 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 astral head at this point is far below you. So you can cast that again. You are still a little bit above the original door. Alright, giant eagle again. I'm I'm gonna try to fly like I said, I'm gonna try to fly us out of this this never ending L loop. Give me a an athletics. Thirteen. You're able to get Top Knot and your and yourself, thankfully, back inside the door as you both crash into the room of dead carcasses as they start to fall all over you. But you are both still alive. I'm gonna drop polymorph. I'm just gonna give Top Knot a hug. Oh, Top Knot's just bawling his fucking eyes out. Just, <laughs> Felix. <laughs> it was awful. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Can I tell he's, like, obviously not doing so hot in the health department? Oh, for sure. After taking that damage, almost no food, his shirt's off. That's, that's pretty perfect. bad. Um, with the greater uh, health potion that Penelope had given him earlier. Mm. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm save, it. Save, save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Oh, please just save it. I stop. <laughs> no, you don't get this. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. I'm going to cast heal. Heal is a sixth level spell. Let me pull it up here. Choose a creature that you can see within range. A surge, surge of positive energy washes through the creature, causing it to re regain 70 hit points. The spell also ends blindness, deafness, and any disease affecting the target. This spell has no effect on constructs or undead. Top Knot is still very, very weak. Um, he will need to refill his stomach, but... In general, his outside looks a lot better. You... You came back. You came back. You said I would. I didn't, I didn't know if anyone would ever find It's okay. You're safe now. <laughs> the last time I was here, I thought I'd never be here again. And I had this feeling. And... I was wrong. <laughs> Was so wrong. And I'm just cuddling up, like on the floor. I'm gonna carry Top Knot out of the room. Okay. I'm gonna turn to Senwick and say you should probably grab that box. Yeah, I'm on it. I put my sword and shield away, grab the box, like carry it. I check to see if it's trapped first. Uh, no traps. Yeah. And then if I can pick it up, I'm gonna do that and carry it up. Yeah, that's fine. It's it's very, very small. At this point, you guys can gather back in the town square if you'd like. Uh, if not, your main goal here has been pretty much achieved. 
I had one more thing I wanted to do, but you guys can do uh, a rest real quick before we head out. Um, yeah. I know we're exhausted, but I think we burned a night of enjoying ourselves. Uh, is it Edna? Is that the lady's name? Mm hmm. How about we take this party over there? We make sure we get DuPont under protective custody before uh, the next step is undertaken. But um, yeah, I think we have some talking that, that needs to be done. I think I know the perfect place for him. Lead the way. I'm going to drag DuPont up to his secret room. Okay. I'm going to look him in his eyes. And say, I want you to understand the unbearable torture that you subjugated all these people to. I'm going to throw him into the abyss. At first, he just thinks it's the, it's the dead bodies, confused by that. And then you throw him, and you can see his eyes widen. And as he leaves my arm, and you, I'll roll something for this. I want to try to piss into the abyss. <laughs> well, there's this pee constantly falling now. And I'm going to have a couple guards just stand uh, somewhere near and have some people check out the room, too investigate a little bit more of what he may have been to do. I don't know if you inv invited Mickelson up, but he would gladly be a part of taking care of that. Mickelson, do you want to be on DuPont's detail, or do you want to watch Addison? Because she's going to need some people watching over her for a little bit. I think some people are going to take out some of their anger on her, and I, I don't want to see it. Agreed. Yes, uh, I'll let the rest take care of DuPont. I will, I will watch Addison. Have you gotten a read, Mickelson, on who is kind of on our side of things now? Or is there any people we should be worried about? Because I do not want them being the ones guarding him. No, we have some more on our side, but the others have taken quite a talking to earlier. <laughs> Especially the younger ones. Well, let's uh, put some feelers out. Make sure no one's feeling too frisky, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit later. I, I need to spend some time with these guys right now. There's been a lot that has just come to light that we need to process. Of course. Edna's? Hopping into Edna's Inn and Tavern. Welcome again! What a wonderful surprise. Iron Hammer, Penelope, Felix, Stenwick, and Topknot. Hello. How how have you been? I haven't seen you since oh so long I want, ago. I want your drinks, uh, all of your drinks, please. Uh, got the got strong, it. Strongest drink you have, please. Of course, of course. She will throw can out I, multiple beers. Can I use your bucket? Uh. Sure. I thought we were done with that, but yeah. I walk over and immediately vomit. Top uh, walks over. Vomits into the box. She okay. will rub your back. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that was crazy. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, Penelope, how... Shit, man. Like your son getting brought up. Uh, I'm sorry. It's it's okay. I um. It was good at least to hear that he, you know, found uh, his own passion and uh, you know wanted to to continue my work. So it was it was at least nice to see that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing okay. All right, just wanted to check. How about the rest of you guys? That, uh... It'll take a while to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah. I don't know what I thought, you know, I would get out of the end of this. 
I don't know if I'd ever see my home again, if it even exists. Well, I I think once everything with Primador is taken care of, maybe we plan a trip down to Davenport, see if there's anything left down that way. Might be worth investigating. Or maybe we can get some more from DuPont about that later, but you guys are going to be getting uh, very acquainted with him, I think, over the next days to weeks. Getting him up to Remador. You know, I didn't really think what was going to happen moving forward. This has always kind of been an goal for me. Well, originally it was making captain, and then it was bringing down DuPont, and now there's so much that needs done here. We have to rebuild everything, our, our, the way we live, the way the things we believe. I know that your guy's journey isn't finished yet, but uh, I think mine might be. Um, now that you have your friend back, I, I, think I'm, I think my time is better spent here for now. If no one... I hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you leave. I'm going to miss you too. It's been fun. For the boxes and things that we went through up in the room, did we find top knot stuff? Oh yes. Did we find the sending stuff? That, yeah. Uh, from was it? You, from, from, from you guys? Yeah. And yeah. Iron had the other. Yep. I think I might hold on to this if it's all the same to you guys. Uh, and then if you need me, I'll try to be there as soon as I can. Um, did we find anything in the blue box? Yes, uh, inside the blue box is just a list of eight separate documents. Uh, each one inside is a, is a very formal letter from the kingdom of Davenport. What each one says is the current king's name of the kingdom of, of New Haven, starting from Ulrich to Humphrey to Isaac to Marmaduke to Reginald, Gerald, Richard, and Clifford. What's the most recent date we can find? On uh, the most recent was uh, Clifford. Anything magic in here? The only other thing I would say are two of those potions that King DuPont had left earlier. The green potions. Penelope, I think these have your name on it, just in case. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take a board of those. Hey, I want to thank you for everything, Penelope. For what it's worth, I we had a conversation a little bit ago in Cirrus uh, when you were telling me about how when you care about someone, you keep them close, and I think I'm going to do that. I think once things are figured out here. You know, something, I don't want you to repeat this. I hate being a guard. <laughs> I, I hate it. I, maybe that's, I think I'm decent at it. I hope. And I think maybe that's why I'm decent at it is because I don't like it. Uh, I think if I enjoyed pushing people around and being the boss all the time, I wouldn't be good at doing those things. And I think once things are finished here, I might go to Hanami spend some time out in the woods in the trees with the animal with Arnie I think it'd be nice so uh, it's a far cry from where I thought I would be and I think I don't think I would have wanted that or known that I wanted that if it wasn't for for your words thank you no Stenwick I, I have to thank you um 
you know, there there have been periods throughout this this whole journey that I've I've just felt defeated, and you know, I felt as if it maybe wasn't worth continuing on, uh, not just in our our adventure, but in um, in life itself. And uh, your your companionship that you've had with me, and um, you know, just uh, the conversations that we've had, it's it's been one of the the grounding things for me that have that has kept me here. So, um, you know, I, I know I lost my uh, my son. Um, you know, he's he's no longer with us. But uh, based on the age difference of us, uh, I like to think of you as a uh, almost uh, my son so i just give you a big hug i um my dad wasn't a bad guy by any means but i think in the short amount of time that we've had you've been more of a father figure to me than he ever was um and i'm sorry that we couldn't have had more conversations but we will we will. Get that sending stone from Iron Hammer and we can talk whenever you want. Okay. And I hope you guys, all of you, find what you're looking for north of here. I hope whatever answers you're looking for, that they're there. You deserve it. And Penelope, for what it's worth, the world might not deserve you, but it needs you. So you need to stick around as long as you can. Your Thank you. Darker place without you. So, but enough of that. It's time to drink. I'm looking <laughs> over. Top Knot's already drank everything that is close to <laughs> that he can get down. All the slog. Yeah, anything, anything, and everything he can be drinking. Guys, I've learned some crazy revelations about Cirrus. There is a dead guy floating above the city. <laughs> I told you I would look into it, and uh, turns out his name is Frederick, and sometimes Bromness goes and talks to his body. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at, at Iron Hammer, and then I'm gonna look at Top Knot. I'm gonna say I'm sorry, buddy, but we we already knew all that. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to look at Felix and look at Top Knot. Say, you know, Top Knot, I, I, I didn't know that. Uh, that was some good work. Um, we couldn't, uh, couldn't have figured that out without you. Glad to have you back. Agent Top Knot, reporting for duty. Let's, uh... <sighs> Fuck. I guess I'm going to be with you guys. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, now uh, I have another fight. <laughs> I, uh. I guess we should let Toad know I'm okay, but, uh. I. I kind of want to come along. Uh, as, as terrible as it sounds, if we're keeping Dupont alive, uh, I want to make sure that I'm around when the, the cats rip him to pieces. <laughs> oh god, is that where we're going? Oh I no. I think we are going. <laughs> The land of the cats? Oh no, he never really learned. <laughs> <gasps> and Recyclops, is he okay? Yeah. Okay. He's Gucci, man. We need to stop at Cirrus and pick him up on the way. And then we can tell him we're okay. And then, and then I can get a change of clothes because I think I ruined these, these ones. So bam, Iron Hammer, word of recall. We get to Sirius, get our stuff. We get to the ship. Uh, yes, I would totally agree with that. I think Ian would, uh, would totally. Or agree. I mean, we I can just we sleep. Then we go. We sleep. Yeah, I could also just tree stride us there as well. Oh wait, there's no trees in Sirius. <laughs> <laughs> that comes up every time <laughs> we're in Sirius. Uh, if you if you'd like, you can explain to Toad what's going on with him. If not, we can do that in the future. Nope, daddy, daddy was a, a 
orphan. A uh, foster kid that was just injected with shit. No, injections. we're not going to tell him that. Probably not. <laughs> I'm just going to tell him that I'm okay, and then I have some things I need to do, and I'm going to take the cat with me for now, but I'm going to bring him back, and he needs to stay safe. And okay. I really miss I miss you so much, too. I'm so glad you're back. I love you, big guy. Same here. And he punches you straight in the face. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> So, at the harbor now, uh, now along with DuPont, I'm assuming just tied up to the back of a horse or something. Walking behind. Yeah. <laughs> Five yeah. ankles. Captain Barth Bartholomew Winslow, as well as Nelson Barney. Uh, as you see them finishing up the ship. Okay, oh. so there, this is the, the main harbor. Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. I need to fix this. This is not where we're actually at. We're at the other harbor along with mm -hmm. Barney. I got that wrong. But anyway, yes, you, you and Barney are up there along with the ship as he is fixing it up. And he hops, he, he tells you all to, to join up. And what you notice on the flag, if you can see, is... Oh, shit. Our pirate ship. <laughs> Hop along, boys. It's time to go on a trip. I don't know who you are, but it's fine. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and we will start off next next game uh, on the road up to Primador. Not a cool adventure coming, boys. Woo!